Hi guys, Frankie PC here, just working on a Windows 7 Home Edition PC and I just thought I'd show you a quick uh, tutorial um, on what can happen uh, if, Windows, if uh, Internet Explorer uh, is damaged by a virus file uh, or a malware or spyware that's come onto your computer and this is a typical scenario of exactly what you can find. Um, basically all I've got at the moment is a completely black screen as you can see and I've just managed to get Windows Task Manager opened up by clicking Control, Alt and Delete which will obviously bring uh, the Task Manager back up. Uh, what you can see there running is my Camtasia Studio uh, which is recording this uh, video for you. But that's all I can get. I can't get anything else at all. I've clicked clicking all over the screen, right clicking. Uh, nothing actually does anything at all. Um, I've got no desktop, no GUI interface. I'm completely stuck. Uh, I've tried rebooting the computer and again it just comes straight into a black screen. Press Control, Alt and Delete and we've managed to get to our Windows Task Manager up. So I'm going to show you exactly how to, uh, how to recover this uh, virus and then this problem that we've got. Um, and it's quite, it's quite simple guys, uh, but this is obviously uh, how, you go about, uh, how you go about doing that. So if we click on File and click on New Task, okay, what you need to type in here is regedit. So it's R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Uh, and obviously it's, uh, there it is. Don't forget to put the .exe in, or it won't open up. And then we click OK. I'll just move that to one side. OK, uh, in fact, yeah, drag that to one side, a bit smaller. Um, OK, so this is the registry editor that we're into now. And we need to go into HK Local Machine. So HK Local Machine, as we've just seen, so that drops the, uh, opens the, expands the, uh, the files. Uh, go into Software. And come all the way down here to Microsoft and come all the way down here and we need to go into Windows so uh, Windows NT current version ok uh, let's have a look on here what we've got here Keep coming down current version to win logon. Okay, and double click the win logon. Okay. So now we win logon. If you look on the right hand side here, you can see we've got shell and we've got explorer dot. Okay. So this is where the virus has actually uh, damaged or replaced explorer.exe with explorer. And um, this is obviously the reason why we're not getting the full interface and obviously getting Explorer uh, running as it should. So this is what this is what viruses can do. They can actually go into the registry, alter files like this, and obviously this is where uh, where the problem lies. So we need to correct this. So all we're simply to do is double click on shell. Okay, we've got value data now comes up, and we just click, and we need to put in exe executable, and we click OK. And let's now put explorer.exe now on the right hand side and the data, sh uh, data shelf. Nothing to click now from now on guys, you can simply close all of this all off. So slide that to the top and close all of this off as it is. And then we can close down. Okay. Now what we can basically do is we can go into File, New Task, and we need to replace regedit.exe with explorer.exe. If we open, say OK, and and there we go, guys. OK, so we've obviously got the desktop back up now. Everything's running as it should be. We can close uh, Task Manager back off again, and away we go. So there you are, guys. That's a simple way, basically, just to just double check if um, when you do come to find a black screen, and uh, nothing will actually work apart from your Task Manager. And quite often, that's all that basically has happened. The virus has, has corrupted the shell um, registry key. And you just need to uh, to re uh, to re put that back in again. Okay, guys. Any more questions, or uh, if you want to uh, rate uh, uh, this uh, particular video, then please pop over to my channel and do that for me. And I shall be making more videos again in the future for you. Okay, guys. See you again then. Bye.